Hello everyone, this is Arun. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the new SmartView extension for Oracle Account Reconciliation. So this came as uh, part of the 2105 or the May update. So everyone should have this feature enabled in both the test and prod instances. So I have the 2105 updates documentation. You can see that it specifies you can now use Excel to load transactions into reconciliation compliance by using SmartView, account reconciliation extension. The business benefit of this is you don't have to create a text file or a CSV file to upload these transactions into the reconciliation compliance module. Now it needs the base installation of SmartView, plus you have to install the new SmartView extension for reconciliation compliance. Uh, four types of transactions are supported at this time. Balance explanations, adjustments to source system, adjustment to subsystem and variance explanations. All right, so let's take a look at how we can uh, do uh, adjustment to subsystem and maybe adjustment to source system. All right, the first thing I want you to do is log into uh, account reconciliation and make sure um, go into downloads. And first thing is if you don't have SmartView installed, make sure you download and install SmartView. Once SmartView is installed, you have to download the SmartView extension for reconciliation compliance, download and install. Both installations are pretty straightforward. And once you have those installed, make sure to close and reopen Excel. And once you open Excel, you should have a new tab called reconciliation compliance. And this is what we're gonna use for loading data into account reconciliation. Now the third step that you wanna do is to create a private connection. Um, Oracle has a pretty good documentation explained the same. I'm going to leave a link to this document in the description of the video. But just make sure that you have to create a private connection. Then the syntax of the URL has to be in this format. So you have your um, account reconciliation cloud uh, URL. Then you have slash ARM slash arcs slash SVP. So this is what we're going to use as the private connection URL syntax. Once you have that set up. All right, after creating the private connection, what you want to do is uh, click on the Smart View tab in Excel and click on Panel. It's going to show you two options shared connections and private connections. Click on private connections, select the private connection you configured for account reconciliation. In my case, I have it as ARCs, so I'm going to select that expand reconciliation compliance, click on this smart view arcs reconciliation compliance, and then click on connect. Usually this should work. So uh, to make sure that worked, navigate to the reconciliation compliance uh, tab and make sure you can see the initialize and import options uh, enabled. For me, it is not enabled. So I'm going to try and expand this one and see if that uh, helps. It doesn't. I'm going to uh, disconnect and connect again. So now you can see that uh, once I disconnected and connected back, I can see the initialize and import options. So this means you are connected to account reconciliation. Now you should be able to use the smart view extension to load transactions into account reconciliation. So let's try uh, adjusting um, subsystem balance and a source system balance. So I'm going to go into the account reconciliation, uh, reconciliations work area, and I'm going to pick this one, accounts payable reconciliation, and I can see that there's an unexplained difference of 10,000 US dollars. And you can see that there's an adjustment of uh, $10,000 here on the source system. There's a $20,000 adjustment on the subsystem. So I want to make another $10,000 adjustment to the subsystem so that there are no unexplained differences. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. You want to copy this account ID. This is going to be uh, needed when you enter the transaction. So I'm going to copy that, go back to SmartView. Click on the initialize option. And you can see that you have four different types of transactions. 
uh, balance explanations, adjustments to source system, adjustment to subsystem, and variance explanations. For our case, it is an adjustment to subsystem, so I'm going to select that. And these are all the reconciliations that we have. I'm going to select the accounts payable one, click OK. And that's going to create the header uh, information for me. And you can see that the first column is account ID. So I'm going to paste the account ID in there. And transaction date, I'm going to give today's date 5-29-2021. Uh, adjustment to uh, AP balance. Uh, and I'm going to provide a functional amount of 5,000 US dollars. All right, that's all I need. And once you have this information entered, click on import. And you can either add to the existing adjustment. So we already have an adjustment. So if you select add, it's going to add this adjustment to the existing one. Or you do have the option of replacing and adding this one. So if you select replace all, what's going to do is replace everything that's uh, already there in the system. And then it's going to add this one line um, in there. So I want it to be added. So I'm going to select add and click OK. All right, it's going to give you the status saying that uh, there were total one total number of transactions, how many were created, and the process status which is completed. Uh, nothing was deleted and nothing was errored out. And you also have the option of downloading the import file. So if you want to use this format for later, um, if you want to create a text file and then use that to upload the file uh, using the normal process, you can do that. This is going to be a tab delimited uh, file. So if you want to see the format and want to reuse it, you can download the file and uh, use that. Okay. In my case, I'm going to close this because that's all I wanted to do. And let's go back in. So right now, you're going to see there's a $10,000 uh, unexplained difference. I'm going to close this and come back in. And you should now see that there's a $5,000 unexplained difference. If I go into adjustments, you can see that there's a 20,000 which already uh, was in the system and this 5,000 we just added. So that's how you can add uh, adjustments uh, or transactions to reconciliation compliance model using the Smart View extension. Okay, another one of what I wanted to show is um, around accounts prepaid expenses. So this one, um, Again, uh, I want to, this is an unexplained difference of $25,000. So if I go into prepaid expenses, you can see that there's already one adjustment of $25,000. I'm going to make an adjustment to the source system. This time it's source system, not the subsystem. So I'm going to go back and um, I'm going to initialize again. And I'm going to select adjustment to source system. And here I'm going to say, uh, let's see, prepaid expenses. Click OK. So it's going to delete everything and create a new header and a new set of records. So here I want my account ID, which is 1012270. Copy. And I'm going to paste that. I'm going to give today's date or maybe uh, yesterday's date and give a short description prepaid expense adjustment. I'm going to give five, uh, again, another $5,000 adjustment. And I'm going to say import. I'm going to say add. I don't want to replace. I'm going to add it to the existing set of uh, adjustments that I have. Click OK. It's going to show you the transaction status. Um, close. Go back into the system and close it out and come back and you should see that now there is an unexplained difference of 20,000 earlier it was 25,000. I can see that there's an adjustment that I created uh, for 528 or for $5,000. So it's pretty easy to create adjustments and uh, adjustments to source system, subsystem using the Smart View extension. You don't have to create a CSV file and you know import or uh, into the system. <sighs> makes, uh, makes your life easier. So I think this is a good addition. Um, th there are a few other features in ARCs that I wanted to discuss. Maybe I'll create a separate video on that. But today I just wanted to show you this. All right. Hit me up with any questions that you have on ARCs. 
um, and also on transaction matching processes. Um, and, uh, and if you like this content, give it a thumbs up um, to see more videos like this on Oracle ERP Cloud EPM and analytics. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.